every family has seasons of life where they go through difficult times. What about those moments of tragedy? What about those moments when children are involved? Today, we're going to talk about how we can approach and how we can truly help our children through some of those rough seasons. Stay tuned. One of the most frequent questions that I get as a pastor um, typically comes from families, and it's what happens in the midst of tragedy and how do we help our children, um, our, our kids, our teenagers deal with despair or deal with tragedy. Um, and many times as parents, the reason why we are so worried is because we don't understand what truly is going on within them. There was a study done some years ago of 3,500 children over a period of about six years years. And what the, the researchers were trying to figure out is, is what was the effect of tragedy upon them? Would our children, those children through that six-year period, would we see them be able to handle tragedy and be able to then move through in a healthy standpoint to be able to access the, the typical aspects of life? The good news about this is most every one of those 3,500 children were able to lead a healthy life. However, they did find that if parents were to pull the right levers at the right time, it would help expedite the healing process with those children. So many people ask, Terry, what does that healing process look like? What is it that we can do to be able to help our children? Well, we've talked several times about the logical and the emotional side of our brains. In fact, this past week, we just did that. And when we talk about a healthy brain, we talk about where the logical and the emotional can interact with one another. When tragedy strikes a child, Typically what happens is, is they want to bottle up. They want to disassociate from the pain. And so what they're doing in their brains is, is they're moving away from their emotional and they're moving typically to the logical. Now, there are cases to where they do the opposite, where they move to the emotional and they just really can't cope and they move away from logic and they move only to emotional. In those instances, we see a disrepair. We see two areas of the brain disconnect. And so how do we reconnect the brain? How do we get the healthy synapses to be able to work with one another. That's why it's so important for a child to talk about what they experienced. One of the things that a child doesn't want to do is they don't want to go to the pain. They don't want to remember what happened. They want to have fun. They want to be a kid, and that's okay. However, every child, every teenager that goes through a tragedy needs to be able to talk about and to process what they experienced. Because it's the processing of what they experienced that helps reconnect the logic and the emotional side of the brain. And if a child can reconnect the logic and emotional side of their brain in a faster fashion, it helps them to lead a more healthy and more vivid life. So if you have a child that is going through a tragedy or through a difficulty, I want to encourage you to be able to try to discuss that with them. Or even better, to seek out a counselor that is trained to be able to connect with a child at that level and to be able to help them and draw out of them the experience so that they can begin processing once again at a healthy level. We're praying for you and your family and asking God to be able to heal where healing is needed. Have a great week.